A day after becoming a junior deputy, a local teen battling brain cancer becomes Batman's sidekick. Michael Tater followed Eli Clark this morning as he went on a special ride. I'll wheel you over to the Batman. 14-year-old Eli Clark has been battling a rare form of brain cancer for over a year now. But as Eli joined Batman at Mineral Wells Elementary School, his family says he's handled it like a superhero. Like a trooper. I, I, he's the strongest man I've ever met in my life. Always has a joke. Uh, always, always in a good mood. Wanted to give him a nice, awesome Batmobile ride in that car. It's what I call a hope injection because it'll really motivate these kids through their difficult times. I heard he's been having a really difficult time lately fighting his illness. And, and uh, sometimes when you, when, you, when you go to the top and you, and you meet him halfway down, you can pull him up over that, over that hump. So, Batman comes from the organization Heroes for Hire out of Huntington, West Virginia. During his ride along with Eli, he told him to keep fighting. Telling him about how many, uh, how many people looked up to him and what an inspiration he is to the whole world and that his toughest days are actually the best days because that's when the world is watching him the most and the world is being encouraged by him. He gets stacks of letters from all around the world every day, continues to this day. and it is. The outpouring of love and support from everybody is just, that's just mind-boggling. He's doing it. He's rocking it, man. He's His father says Eli's recent reports have not been good, but he's defied the odds before. These events help give Eli strength. When that thing lifted up, he, you could see the excitement in his eyes. And I think that in his mind, he probably looked at that car and said, oh my gosh, how am I going to get in out of that car? But he did it. Hey! And so what we did was we gave him another day to fight. We gave him another week to fight, another month to fight, another year to fight, because he proved that to himself. No one fights alone, and that's the absolute truth. Uh, we couldn't have endured this if it hadn't been for all the support of family and friends and even strangers. And the divisiveness and the anger and all the stuff that we have going on in the world today, uh, we just have no clue that people like Eli can show us exactly what life is all about and what's most important. That's what heroes do, and Eli certainly fits the bill. Keep up. fighting, Eli. In Mineral Wells, Michael Tater, WTAP News.